Hello, Grace Point. It's a joy to be back with you again. I'm so thankful for this opportunity for us to be together. And again, please share this with as many people as you possibly can. We want to encourage as many as we can. We want the gospel to get to as many people as possible. And again, thank you for your feedback. I really appreciate those of you that have let me know that you've been blessed by these devotions. It really matters a lot to me. Thank you for that encouragement. It means the world to me. We're working off this little uh, list of things we've found in Galatians chapter 5. We call the fruit of the Spirit. And God has told us that he's given us these things to help us emulate him in this world. And I just remind you, this isn't an exhaustive list. It's just a representative list of what these things might be like. And so far, as you know, we've been working out of Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, where it says, The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. And now today, let's talk about goodness. I like that word, goodness. The word goodness is a, is a really interesting word. In Greek, it's the word agathos. Agathos, and it literally means moral and spiritual excellence that is known by its sweetness and its active kindness. I like that word. It's actually an interesting word in Hebrew, just if I can give you that. It's the word tobe. T-O-W-B is the way you spell that. It means good, pleasant, excellent, lovely, joyful, cheerful. This is just a really great word, isn't it? Goodness. We all all ought to want to always emulate this in this world because that's what we see in Jesus. If Jesus is anything, he is certainly good. So let's talk about a text that, that really we all know really well over in Psalm 23 in the middle of one of the most famous passages of the entire Bible. In Psalm 23 and verse 6, we read these words. Listen, surely goodness and loving kindness will follow us all the days of our life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We love that verse, don't we? But again, the first part of that is surely goodness and, and loving kindness. Sometimes we use the word mercy there. I want to talk to you about those things. Number one, the Lord's direction. First thing that you'll see is the Lord's direction. His direction is surely goodness and loving kindness. I want you to think about what is the, the Christian life for you? If you could name and describe the Christian life with one word, what would that word be? For me, it would be the word journey. I think that the Christian life is simply a journey. We're walking through this life. This is not our home. It is quite the journey, isn't it? And if you think about it, this journey that we're on, this text describes for us, there, it's like these two traveling companions that you have to go with you on this journey. He says, surely goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life. In other words, they're going to walk with me all the days of my life. Think about that. They're companions for this lifelong journey in your life. And they're there to do at least a few things in your life. Number one, goodness helps take care of your steps, of your steps. An example of this would be Joseph. Can you imagine being Joseph and finding out that Mary says to you, I'm pregnant, but she says, I've never had sex with anyone? Think about that. Just think about it. How would you respond to that? And for Joseph, it says that he showed goodness to her in the fact that he wanted to put her away, but he wanted to do that privately. He didn't want to bring any shame to her in any way because he loved her, but that was the right thing to do. He showed goodness to her. He, you know, in this life today, maybe somebody won't embarrass her in some way, but he did not do that. He showed goodness toward her. And that's what God has done with you. Whether you know this or not, God has been so good to you. He's been so good to me. He has expressed goodness to each of us. And we ought to want to give that to everyone else. It's there to guide us in every step in life. The second thing I thought about was this loving kindness, this whole idea of, of loving kindness, this other um, traveling companion for life, not just the goodness, but loving kindness. Is there to take care of my stumbles? Whether you believe it or not or know it or not, the Bible says that we fall short of his glory every single day. We stumble and we fall. And in those moments, we need loving kindness. And you need to know this. God has expressed great mercy and grace toward both of us, you and me, in the way that he's loved us. The Bible says he demonstrated his own love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's his mercy and that's his grace extended to us. So his, his goodness and his loving kindness walk with us all the days of our life to help us with our steps and to help us with our stumbles. The second thing I thought about is not just the Lord's direction, but the Lord's destination. And this is really good news for everybody here. He says, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It's so important for all of us to understand that this is not our home. We're not going to be on this earth forever. There's another home for us prepared called heaven. God's gone to prepare a place for us. He said, if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. What a wonderful word of encouragement. And he's done that out of his goodness and his mercy for each and every one of us. 
I thought about this. You know, the sheep doesn't know what's going to happen the next day, but the shepherd does. He knows who holds the next day. As the sheep of God, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, the next week, the next month, the next year, the next who knows how many years. But we all know who holds the future in the palm of his hand. He's already told us that surely, he says here, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's good news, isn't it? His goodness and his mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. You have a companion with you, two companions for life, goodness and mercy, loving kindness. Why don't you thank God for that today and walk in that goodness that he's put in your life. God, we love you. We thank you for this time. And I pray, God, we would travel every day knowing that we have you walking with us. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you for that promise. Thank you for your love. In Christ's name, amen. Look forward to seeing you next time. God bless.